Awesome. Thank you. I'm glad. I said, let me come out because I hate for people to have to wait for me. Oh, good, good. How are you doing? Good, good. How are you doing? Is that, are you the only one coming in or? Yes, yes. I'm the only one coming in. So, Mr. LeBlanc has sent me over a generic information about what the, 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 the event entails. They've never done it before? This is the first time? Well, we've done something kind of similar. It was called CraveCon. Yeah. I, and we had a, we, it was, this was back in um, 2016. And it was in Galveston, Texas. They had the venue. We had um, a lot, um, you know, everybody, the meals and the after party and the event took place, um, you know, on the island. Right. But it was kind of a flop because a lot of people didn't show up. They, they didn't promote didn't, it. Yeah, they didn't promote it enough and they didn't promote it for long enough. So this time we're promoting it for a whole year. You have to do a way to Yeah. Ask. Absolutely. So he had sent a, a list of questions for you. Yes. And this is me. This okay. is my my temporary phone number because I've moved on this side of the building for a few weeks and I'll be moving back. Um, so the event's name, it's uh, Feast Fest. Yes. Food restaurants permitted on the venue. Yes. So is it, we don't allow food trucks. We don't allow any food or beverage to come in. Oh, okay. In the instance of what this is, I'm assuming that if, uh, say, you got one of the, 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 the followers that has a restaurant that makes a special burger, mm. they would bring it in, but it would already be cooked. Yeah. So all they would have to do is sign a hold harmless uh, that says that we're, we didn't cook it, and if you get sick, you're not going to, whatever. Okay. So that is the do, but they cannot resell the food. Okay. Uh, since ticket sales, we don't handle the ticketing. We leave that up to you. Okay. Um, is the location that we can hold an after party. I think the best area for an after party would be on this side of the building to keep it it's nicer. Yeah. Which I'm going to show you now. All right. Uh, when the full the full amount of the event is due, 30 days prior, and the deposit is 5K. Mm -hmm. Security, you have to provide it on your own, and okay. you do have to provide insurance, a certificate of insurance. Okay. And I'm gonna walk you through the back so we see how the loading would work in, because okay. I think it's important. Will they be needing like pipe and drape boots or things like that? Uh, yes, more than likely. Because we have them. Okay, yeah, that would be awesome if we could do that. And there was one last question. Um, why do you believe CraveCon was a failure and what do you think we can do to ensure that doesn't happen with us? It's not up to me. It's up to you. First of all, Galveston, my opinion. Yeah. It's an island. Yeah. You're limiting yourself. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. You have to take the ferry to go over, mm -hmm. or you have to take the bridge. Yeah. So you're definitely limiting yourself. That's yes. number one. Number two, I wouldn't see Galveston as a foodie area. Mm -hmm. I really wouldn't. New Orleans, I can understand. New Orleans, yeah. That's a really good Miami, place. which we got a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, I could see LA. I can see New York, but, and again, it's all the promotion that you pump it out. Right, it's how long, and how long you're going to promote it, and, and who's promoting it. And who's promoting it, and, 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 yeah, especially with all the people that you had, all those bloggers, yeah. that have all the followings. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't blow it out of the park. Because a lot of the big bloggers we had, we had Matthew Santoro, which he has million, he has over a million, and he didn't promote it at all. They should have reached out before they said, hey, they reach, we reached out to them and before we said, hey, we're going to pay for your, your flight, we're going to pay for your hotel. But you got to do so much advertising. Right. Can you just do one video? If they just reach out to, because we had three people that had over a million subscribers. If we just reach out to one of them and said, hey, can you do one video promoting um, CraveCon? It would have been way bigger. It would have been way better. Oh my God, absolutely. And then, but we had these other guys promoting, we had like 1,000 subscribers. You know these little guys, and I think they were they were too scared. I think to ask the big guys because they had less subscribers than they it should did. have. Because yeah, I do right. Comic Con, I yeah. do the Comic Con, and their biggest key is the fact that they they use all these kids that are bloggers to let the word out, right. to let people know that it's in, in this venue and what the costs are and what promo, and then they do videos of, of it all in sequence. Right. Well, let's go. Let's go. Okay. You don't mind if I record? Absolutely. Okay, awesome. And she... So oh, no. the building, important things that you should know is the amount of parking that we have. Okay. We have 2,800 spaces. Okay. It's $7 flat for the day. 
Okay. And everybody applies. This area is what I'm suggesting for the after party. All right. This is our new section of the ballroom. This Ooh. Is, this is just kind of uh, through extensive renovation. Yeah, this is much nicer than uh, CraveCon already. And I just seen the outside. You know what I mean? Well, the other one was on the beachfront, you know, but it wasn't as fancy looking as right. this. In Miami, like, look, at, look how it, America, uh, South Florida food and wine, how crazy it gets. Yeah. Oh my God. Bro. It's just crazy. So this would be the room that might be recommended for the after party. Oh, nice. And if you need it bigger, it opens up. Yes, this is really nice. This would even hold the event, but... Do um, you think that's small? Well, we, we don't know. It depends, you know, how many of the bigger guys we can get. Because, you know, like we were saying, um, if everybody has their own, you know, loyal followers, fans, they'll follow you from here to China, anywhere. anywhere. So it's, it depends on if we can get those big guys to promote and at least make one video, like we were saying, to get their loyal fans out there. That's the, that's what, that's the bread and butter. Yeah. If you get those guys to do it, shit, half your battle's done. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So I mean, I mean, this, I mean, this looks good to me. I mean, I we, I don't know, but like I said, CraveCon, uh, it was way a lot more space, but that, that we could have fit them in here. You see what I'm saying? So I'd rather really? be. Yeah. We could have fit them in here, definitely. I'm thinking of a bigger scale. So worst case, in the, so let's let's rethink this. So what if you do it in here, then I would suggest maybe you do it double the size of this. Yeah. And then the after party we do on the other side, I have more space. Mm, I see what you're saying. Which might be kind of cool, because that gives you room for growth. There's a lot of options on that date. Yeah. And this is one of them. Okay. Yeah, this is very nice. I mean, because I would. where I'm going to take you, then I think it's way too big. Yeah, it might be. Well, I, like I said, I have the video to show my partner, and 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 they can we can decide. But this looks fine to me. But we can we can look at the other so, one. So yeah, uh -huh. you're here. You might as well see everything. Yeah. Um, let me walk you through the back because I'm scared. Okay. The door might be oh my God. Okay. But yeah, this is a, uh, this is a really nice ballroom. This is the other half, so maybe if you do, you do it in here. Yeah. Both of them together, and then you do. Yeah, this is super nice. The That's after nice. party out here, which is nice. Yeah. And we have a lot more time to promote. Like I said, the other one, they, you know, we lifted it off in like five months. So you can do after party in here. And yeah. In the rooms that are overflow. Okay. Give it more of an elegant look. This right. is option one. Okay. Now I'm going to take you to option two. All right. So this is option one for the after party. Correct. Okay. And you, everything is lockable, so you can control the entrance sure. fees. No ticket, no laundry. If you don't have a ticket and you didn't buy it, you're not going in. Right. So the other option is in the convention center, which has its own parking and everything. Mm -hmm. And we will come back this way. Okay. I'll take you through the back so you can see the load in, and then we'll come out through here. Alrighty. <clears throat> the good thing about this, that big hall is, mm. you see it from the highway. Oh. So, so if you more... do a banner outside, it attracts attention. Yeah, and I like how close it is to the airport, because you know, you get here right away, you get here, you know. You're right. It's right Not next only door. that, you take, if you're flying in, like as one mm -hmm. of the bloggers, you just you don't even rent a car. You, yeah. We pick you up. We have a shuttle. Yeah, I had to drive for, for uh, CraveCon. I had to drive like uh, the island was very crowded, like you said earlier, and I had to wait in uh, on the causeway and the and the freeway for hours, literally like two yeah, hours. I bet. Yeah. yeah I've there's been no there airport on the island. Yeah. I mean, you could get a copter, but that's gonna they're gonna charge you like eight hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Kind of a cool concept. Yeah, yeah. It was created by Game Drops and Kendall Meek. This was like in 2011. They were at one of the conventions, the beginning conventions for, um, you know, obviously of, of Comic Con. So this was um, 
a VidCon promotion uh, 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 convention, right. and they were there. They were talking to the creators of VidCon, which were really high up on YouTube. So they're really high up there, and they, they talked to them. They said they came up with the concept of CraveCon, you know, like the foodie fam, right. the there's food a lot people. Of them. Right, there's a ton of them all over the world. So they gave them the concept, they gave them the, re- the green light. They said, you guys, you know, like you said, you have to come up with your own money, security, everything, and you can, you can do it. So. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, 2016. But like you said, we, they didn't promote it for a lot. Like I believe they didn't promote it for long enough, and right. they didn't they didn't uh, do it right. Thank you. So this would be loading for all of the vendors. Or vendors. All right. Loading for the vendors, you guys here. And then this is the back end. Right? All right, back entrance. Oh wow! Yeah, this is huge. <laughs> yeah, this was this is huge. So I was um, thinking this. I was thinking in this this amount of space. Yeah. But maybe you don't need this amount of space. Maybe it's too big. It, if they're if you're gonna spend you know like a couple grand, maybe ten twenty thousand on good promotion, maybe we we would do this. We could get it. Or there's another option. But we'll see. Okay. Wait a minute, I mm-hmm. saw something wrong. Carlos! Carlos! There's supposed to be eight foot tables. Yes. Who said six feet? Okay. Yeah. It's very eight feet. Okay. And it's two people in each table. Okay. Okay. Oh, good thing we came over this here then. Yeah. See, this is this isn't as large. Mm-hmm. You could, <coughs> worst case scenario, divide this mm-hmm. down the middle and make it like an after party in the back and then in the front. Right. Do your vendors and your bloggers. Hmm. There's another. Yeah, there's another option. Um, it seems suitable for me, like I said, but we need to see how many people are going to show up, how many tickets. And then divide that by, you know, how many tickets for everything. Let me show you the front. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, this is like the coldest room we've been in so far. So this will be the second ever basically foodie con foodie fest convention Convention. because that was the first one that was ever in the united states by the way anyways i don't know how many total people showed up i want to say about under a thousand i want to say which is not good because something like this you'd expect going on all day right yeah there wasn't there wasn't that many people they had so much food and everything left over. They were letting, shame. yeah, they were letting just anybody come in and eat because they didn't want to just throw it away. Throw it away. Of so this would be the All right. There's a lot of parking well, outside. Parking okay. Which is a big plus. Nice. Oh yeah, this is nice. See, this is the key. Yeah. you see that everybody from the highway would see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot of parking. It's, For yeah. something like this, you would need it. Yeah, and definitely. The hotel to the here. Mm-hmm. And then the only guest rooms he had requested was for staff. Right. And I sent him all that information. All right. Yeah, they have a we have a fight going on. It's Profit Muscle versus uh, Crazy Tempo in L.A. All right. And we can I can try to because I'm uh, very close with uh, Profit Muscle. I can try to ask him to help promote this event through the fight. That's that's a boxing match coming up. Really? Uh, yeah, that's going to be in L.A. And Profit what is Mo- that? Um. That doesn't have a set date yet, but we're gonna. Especially if, now with all this. Yeah, stuff, with everything that's going on. Yeah. 
and it doesn't have to date, but as long as it's before our event, we can cross promote. You know, so that'll be something to think about. Cause he, uh, I don't know if you know Rich Piana, but he passed away, and uh, I was in Las Vegas, like it was like 2017 or whatever. Cause he had taken too many, um, you know, pills, pills, for him to work out, like hormones and stuff. Oh God. And he passed out when he was getting his hair cut, and he passed away. But before, that's how uh, one of the biggest videos Profit Muscle has, it's over like 5 million views or 8 million. He goes up to Rich Piana, he was a big guy. I mean, they're talking like 400 pound guy, like six, seven. Profit Muscle goes up to him, he comes up. Yeah, huge guy. And uh, that's how he got his biggest video. And his other videos like Mike Tyson and stuff. Right. But, yeah, I was surprised when that happened, but I wasn't surprised at the same time. Sometimes those hormones. Yeah, they're, yeah, they not good for you. No, by all means. Really not. But parking, there's plenty of it. That's the key. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had to pretty much send him everything. So oh, once he sees the video and he needs more information on each of the, on the haul he likes the best, mm -hmm. then I'll shoot it out to him. All right. Yeah, because he'll that'll be easier. Yeah. That's what I, I believe also. And do you want me to send him an email and answer these questions? So you don't have to Sure, if you can. Yeah, that will be I'll fine. I'll do this morning. Mm -hmm. That way it'll be a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Because he can always fire it back at me. If right. he has any questions. Yeah, any responses? Well, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very nice uh, venues. Oh, no, I like the idea. I like the concept of what you have in mind. Yeah, you're welcome to join for I free. Think, I, think, I think it's you do well. Yeah, I'm Because really I'm sure. one of those. I go, to a, I go to the South Florida food and wine thing. Yeah. It's gotten too crazy expensive. It's 250 bucks. Yeah, that's a lot. And then you have to wait in line to yeah. get one burger right. and half a glass of wine. Yeah, so that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I just came back from Universal Studios. Oh, you, on the weekend, you went? Yeah. And I bought a wine bottle was 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. And the waitress couldn't open it. But then the little the little trinkets like for six wings was twenty bucks and I was like oh, I think yeah. it went down because it wasn't even more expensive than that. A lot, the, a lot of a lot of the things. Was it busy? How did they manage social distancing? You know what? I now that I'm thinking about it, there wasn't that much social distancing. Because I was in Key West for Memorial Weekend. Uh huh. I'm um, sorry, not Memorial the week after when it opened. Yeah. And there was no social distancing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But they, they were, were enforcing just... masks, but people were walking around with a drink. Estudio Betty, ¿dónde queda? ¿Qué? Estudio Betty. Betty. No tengo la menor idea. Si es una tienda, yo no sé. No es la tienda. No. Es el estudio. Oh, oh, el estudio en en el en el east arriba. Ya. Yeah, there was no social distancing. They weren't forcing masks, but people weren't wearing them because of the drinks and eating while they're walking right. around. That's the key. And you really have to. Well, you yeah, should. You should. Because it is. Because people, yeah, again. you're getting sick all, all the time. You know. Oh, these riots and stuff don't help either. Oh yeah, Chicago right now is going down. Oh really no, oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Did you have to pay for it? Uh, no. You're good. No, yeah, I'm good. Good. But thank Any you. Any questions? So. Anything you need answered? Um. No, I'll just send him the video and make sure to get back here. You, you got it. I'm going to answer these questions for him via email. Let him know that I'm going to do it that way. Okay. That way he has all...